Toronto has already received a record amount of rainfall this month, and we're not done with it, the wet weather just yet. For more on this, let's bring in Environment Canada senior climatologist Dave Phillips. Always great to chat with you. And, you know, we spoke just a couple of weeks ago after this uh, massive wallop of rain. What are we expecting for today? And let's talk about the numbers and uh, possible records being broken. Jamie, uh, truly, it's another day with uh, rain. Uh, my gosh, fortunately, we have only two more days to go in July. But hey, the record is already in the bag. We're, we're no, nothing is going to take that away from us in terms of the wettest July on record. So we're seeing a system coming in today, clusters of storms coming in from Michigan. It's uh, already raining in London. And although it tends to, as you see by the radar, it tends to be moving a little bit northwest of Toronto. So it's, uh, if it's a direct hit, we might get 10 to 20 millimeters of rain. But, you know, it's not a, a washout day. It's a hit and miss. It's going to rain here, but not necessarily there. So uh, if it rains over Pearson, uh, that's where I want it to rain. <laughs> uh, then, in fact, we might establish another record. Because, hey, as I say, July record, it's clearly by a long shot. And we only had eight days of rain in July up to now, and we still broke a record, 208 millimeters of rain. We normally would get about 90, 91 millimeters in a normal July. So we've had almost two and a quarter times the amount of rain already in July. Today, okay, if we get 10. Now, all we need, Jamie, I'm, I'm, I'm sort of kind of hoping for six millimeters of rain. Because if, when you look at the all the months for 87 years of record in Toronto, there's been three other months that have been wetter than this July. Back in May of 1942, 208 millimeters, 0.6. September 1986, 212. And the granddaddy one of them all is October 1954. During Hurricane Hazel month, we had 213.9 millimeters of rain. So all we need, Jamie, get 208, add six to that, and we'll be now can say we have just had the wettest month in history at Pearson over wow. 87 years. Dave, we've also been dealing with some uh, pretty scorching hot temps. Uh, I'm looking yes. at our forecast right now. We have numbers pretty much into the high 20s and 30s. Uh, are we going to see any relief uh, from this wet weather or acting as a cooling mechanism? Or are we still going to be in um, some um, pretty hot and humid conditions well, in the weeks to come? Jamie, I think it would be warmer if we didn't have the, the cloud and the rain. Now, of course, when we get the rain, um, it's really just going to add more humidity to the air. And so it's making the nights very warm. So we've had some very warm moments already. We've had uh, humidex values up to 44 uh, in Toronto about in, I think it was the third week of, of June. We've only had two days of 30 degrees in July so far, and that's probably because of all the rains that we've had. But um, also, um, so we've had almost two weeks without a temperature above 30 or, or three weeks. So that's going to end tomorrow. We're going to see a temperature of 30, not enough to create necessarily a warning. You need 31 degrees two days in a row. But I think that people who thought that maybe this is going to over, the hot days are going to be over, no. We think this week we're going to see a longer period of, of warm, kind of not necessarily hot and record breaking, Jamie, but warm. I mean, this is certainly four, three or four or five degrees warmer than you'd expect for this time of year. And that's what our models say for for August and to September. So if you have left your holidays to the end, don't worry. There will be a lot of good warm days to enjoy the outdoors in the next uh, uh, several weeks. Environment Canada's Dave Phillips, we always appreciate your time and perspective. Thank you.